guys, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to another monthly favorites video. If you are new here, definitely subscribe. We do these sort of favorites videos every month where I share a compilation of products that I have been loving for the month. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I wanna tell you guys about my look, okay? The elephant in the room, okay? I got some new ink, some new body art. All of it's fake, okay? It's all faux, including the nose ring, but I am so happy with these products that I definitely wanted to share them with you. So the nose ring I actually ordered off of Amazon. It came in a little set, let me show you guys. So it came in this little baggie, J4U, right? This little velvety little baggie. So mine came with six. The one that I'm wearing today has a little cross on it. You guys know I love crosses, especially little miniature ones. So I wanted to try this one out and you guys, I really, really like it. It really just adds like that nice jewelry effect, you know, adding an accessory to your look without having to commit right without having to actually pierce your nose I didn't even know that this kind of faux jewelry was available until my sister told me about it and I gone to Claire's to get one because that's what she recommended but I must say these Amazon ones fit a lot more comfortably the ones from Claire's you actually have to put a little bit of tension on it in order for it to stay put and even then it can still fall off but I like these because it doesn't require that tension so it's more comfortable to wear it I wore one of these nose rings almost my entire trip when I went to Miami and it was super cute I really loved it but it was a little bit uncomfortable and I really like the variety that you get in the six pack and I think probably what I like most about these Amazon ones is that they have like little gems on them so they look like little diamonds and so it adds like a nice little sparkle, an extra girly component to your accessories. So I really like them. So I'll put links below to everything I can find. And then for my fake tattoos, you guys, um, this is a product called Tatly. I actually picked up this faux tattoo set when I was out in Seattle, Washington. I bought it from like this little shop. Super, super cool, you guys. These are temporary tattoos that are supposed to last two to four days, but honestly, I feel like just after applying it and checking it out, it probably is not going to last more than maybe a full day because I can just really see this kind of rubbing off. But while you have it on, I think this is a really fun way to experiment with body art. Super, super fun for the summer, you know, if you wanna wear it to like a festival or some type of event where you're going to be out and about, maybe around people who you've never met before. It's a really fun way to kind of experiment with a different look. I am actually really into tattoos. Like I love tattoos. I myself have 10, I think I have 10. And that isn't even half the amount that I really want. But I have really interesting kind of skin so I could never get like this kind of elaborate art on my skin all of my tattoos are like just like words really simple because of the way that my skin scars you know it kind of overproduces scar tissue and it gets a little puffy and all that so I would be afraid to get something this elaborate even though this is totally me you guys I would love to have like a neck tattoo that goes down and around my shoulders and onto my back I would love to have a full sleeve or something to that effect but I'm just so afraid that my skin is going to have a crazy reaction and I'll be stuck with like this gigantic scar. But speaking of scars, that's one of the reasons that I love tattoos is because it is technically a scar, but it's a scar that you choose where you want it and how you want it to look. Growing up as kind of a tomboy, I have a lot of scars on my body from falling out of trees and I have to live with that stuff for the rest of my life and I, kind of don't want to, but I don't really have a choice. And so that's why I love tattoos because you can choose where you want this sort of permanent thing to be and you can choose how you want it to look and you can use tattoos, right, to cover scars that are unsightly. So I absolutely love the idea of body art and I love the temporary body art even more because you get to explore. And these tattoos are awesome because they're safe and non-toxic and they're printed with vegetable-based ink, which is FDA compliant. It's low commitment and you can basically just get your tattoo feels and I just love being able to experience experiment with like different placements and stuff. And with Tatly, their tattoo art is actually designed by real tattoo artists. So it's very realistic. And in each pack, each tattoo design comes with two. So that's what I did. I decided to put the really big one right here on my neck and then some of the smaller ones as we kind of trickled down. I wanted to keep going down the arm, but I said, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna use up all of the tattoo art in this one go round. I'll wait until next time. So I just went ahead and applied some water to my sponge. The sponge comes really, really thin, but as soon as that water hits it, it really swells up and fills with water. So it can hold a lot of water. All you need to do for the tattoo is remove the plastic part, apply it to the skin exactly where you want it, and you might notice that it has a sticky quality that's gonna help it adhere to your skin while you hold the sponge up to it for 30 seconds, and then you can take the sponge away, remove the card piece, and your tattoo is going to be placed. What I must say though, the downside to these tattoos is that you can kinda tell they're fake, right? If you're really looking, you can see the kind of sticky kind of residue on there, so you can kinda tell that these are not real, but 
no one's really trying to fool anyone. This is really just all for fun. So I would highly recommend Tatley if you guys want to check it out. Um, hi, <laughs> popping in from the very near future. Just wanted to give you guys a kind of realistic update about the tattoo because some of the things that I stated in the video did not prove to be exactly true. <laughs> so here we are, um, uh, two days later, all right, the tattoo is still intact. The only thing I would say is that when I woke up, this part right here was a little bit stuck to my shirt and I was able to take showers and everything and I just avoided like wiping this area directly. But as you guys can see, it stayed intact. Um, there was a little bit of fading uh, right here. And the other thing is that, remember that residue I was telling you guys about um, that was surrounding the tattoo? So that actually went away. And the only thing that stayed was the actual artwork itself. So dang, I would say that this is an A plus um, temporary tattoo kit, like wow. So that's it for my body art piece. Let's move on. My top is from Naked Wardrobe. You guys, I love Naked Wardrobe. Like their bodysuits and stuff fit like no others. My jeans are just some high waist um, white jeans from Fashion Nova. You guys know I live for a good all white ensemble because it's super easy to pull off and it kind of elevates your look and make it look as though you put a lot more effort into it than you probably did. And you guys know I love a good effortless look. And my shoes are actually Yeezy slides. You guys, funny story, right? I had saw these slides in a beauty supply right they weren't the easy ones they were just some slides and I really liked them so I bought them I had no idea they were knockoff Yeezys okay I didn't even know I don't know a whole lot about the Yeezy shoe brand and all that because I'm not really that into it and I wore them around my sister and she was like oh you got the fake Yeezys and I was like what long story short okay um, I threw those away they were only like six bucks and I went and I had to get the real ones because I was so in love with the style I had to get the real ones so I went ahead and got them and you guys these are so so freaking nice. Let me show you guys a close up. So these are the Yeezy slides. They're of course by Adidas. And I ended up getting the size six and a half. And I think this is the men's version. I wear normally a seven and a half in women's. And I got it in the color pure, which is so, so nice. And then listen, so when I was able to compare the fake one with the real one, there was so many differences. It was very glaring that it was a fake knockoff. These fit so much more comfortably, you guys. Like they just literally hug around, you know, the top of your foot and it just fits in sync, almost as though these were like molded to your feet. So they're really, really good in terms of comfort. And they look kind of stylish too. Like you can easily wear these with socks. You can wear them with jeans, shorts. You can wear them with loungewear. I mean, you can really like get a lot of wear out of these slides. So I really, really like them and I absolutely love the color. The only thing is if you try to buy them aftermarket, you're going to pay a lot more for them and that's just how it goes. And my earrings actually came from that same beauty supply. And my hairstyle, this is nothing new. I've done this before. This is kind of a makeshift bang situation that I created and I'm actually reusing the same unit that I created from before. And then I just have the top knot bun at the top. And this is just a virgin Indian hair that I actually got from Strand hair boutique I will put all the links below oh and my lip color right I'm just wearing um, a MAC lip color in Russian red and then this black opal liquid lipstick color splurge and the color dynamo this is a very old lip color you guys have had for centuries okay I don't even know if they still make it but I really love it like opal makes some really good makeup products okay now let's get into some favorites if you follow me on Instagram then you saw my recent reel that I posted so I tried the four-step wash and go system right they have a few of them available on the website I wanted to try the vanilla berry one which is the fragrance that it offers the first step of the system is the shampoo which is really really good you guys it's so moisturizing like Yikes, like it really gets your hair ready for the conditioner, which is step two, the hydrating conditioner. Now with the conditioner, I didn't love it, right? Um, there are some other conditioners that I've tried that I've liked better than this, but what I did like about it and what I found that other conditioners don't offer is the really clean rinse out. I can really appreciate, especially when I'm going into a style like a wash and go or blow dry, you know, style. I really want that conditioner out of my head, right? So that I can make room for my heat protectant or whatever products that I want to use next. I don't want residue and a conditioner still lingering in my hair. The hair is rinsed clean without the stripped feeling, so I love that. Now step three, as we get closer to my favorite product here, okay? Step three is the moisturizer. So this is what you want to put on your hair, preferably in sections right before um, you move to the next product, okay? And then this is my absolute favorite item out of everything, you guys. The thing that I will continue to come back to, I will have tons of these in my house at some point, is the flaxseed gel, you guys. This is the best 
hair gel I have ever used on my hair as it relates to a wash and go, okay? <laughs> don't try to use this to slick your edges, all right? Don't use this for, you know, your weave, you know, phony pony. It's not that kind of gel, all right? This is specifically for wash and go styles. And I would venture to say that this would probably do really well with like, a twist out or a braid out as well. This is wonderful on my hair, okay? My hair type is 4A, 4B-ish. Definitely in the type four curl range though. I have more of an S curl and I feel like this really complements my curl pattern, you guys. Makes my hair pop, makes my curls really, really stand out and they hold without the crunchy feel, right? So I really, really love this, you guys. You guys have got to try um, this four step system, but if you don't wanna try the other three, you gotta get this one, okay? I do have a discount code um, to save 20% on the website, right? So definitely check the description box if you guys wanna try out the Curl Mix products. With all these products though, I feel like it's for the health of your hair, right? It's not just all about the hairdressing element of it all. They're really good products. They don't contain any toxins or any of the things that you don't need in your hair. And I think with that, right, it's gonna make for better long-term effects on the hair. And I really love that the products are broken down to steps, right? So it helps to kind of guide you through, you know, um, what the process needs to be in order for you to get the results that you want. Since we're talking about beauty, let's go ahead and have a conversation about these products here, you guys. Okay, you all know. I'm kind of into Dr. Teal's, okay? I love their bath time products. They are just so good without spitting an arm and a leg. You can get these from Target and or Walmart and you don't have to worry. So I tried these two new ones um, recently and this one I'm like halfway through the bottle because I love it so much. This is the foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. And this one is the soothe and comfort with oat milk, argan oil, and essential oils. This smells like a bowl of oatmeal, all right? A bowl of sweet oatmeal. It smells so nice, you guys. It makes my baths feel like it's a milk bath or something. Like it just feels so luxurious and nice. I just love Dr. Teal's, especially for what you pay for these products. Like you don't pay anything, you know, and it's so good. And this is the clarify and smooth with witch hazel, aloe vera, and essential oils. I love the scent that it gives off when it hits it's the water and you're just sort of sitting and soaking in your tub. But I really love these products, you guys, because they're so soothing on my skin. Like I have really dry skin, like really dry skin. And I really love using products that are going to infuse it with moisture, right? But not like that artificial moisture where I'm feeling greasy or oily. Just give me moisture, right? And, and have it stay with my skin for a little bit. And so it almost feels like I'm bathing in lotion. But like I said, the best part about it was the scent. Oh, it just smells so nice. This makes me want to take a bath right now, okay? And Dr. Teal's makes a lot of products, right? But the one thing that draws me to one over the other is the smell. All right, now that's that. Now, as we move away from the bathroom setting a bit, I want to talk to you guys about some bedding. So you guys might know already that I'm a huge fan of Cozy Earth. And so I have a new set of sheets from them and they came in this really cool tote bag. Really, really excited about it. They sent this to me for free, okay? Because I am on their PR mailing list. I really love this tote bag. Like, stop it. This matches with my outfit today. I might wear it. <laughs> but I just get their bamboo um, bedding that is just all white and it's perfect for um, the color scheme that I have going on in here. And it's just super soft you guys like it's just really something different and so I have some of the best sleep when I'm curled up in these sheets with my husband honey and I just really love it you guys so if you are a fan of you know luxury higher end you know sort of bedding you've got to give Cozy Earth a try I think you will love it Oprah endorses Cozy Earth it's definitely one of her favorite things so you guys have to try it out. So yeah, definitely check below for the discount. And if you've already tried Cozy Earth, let me know what you think, because I really love mine. Okay, this next item that I want to show you guys is something that you all recommended that I get. And I listened, okay, because the recommendations, it's not just a one-way street here, okay? It goes both ways. So if I recommend things to you guys, I want you to recommend them to me as well. I did a car detailing video. I wanted to show you all how I detail my own car. And you guys seem to really like that video, so thanks for watching it, but yeah. When you guys were watching it, you saw that I did not have a car seat cover for my leather seats where my daughter's car seat is. And you guys are right. Like I did my research and I'm like, oh my God, I need to have this. I don't know why I hadn't heard of it before. So I went on Amazon and I ordered this Smart Elf car seat cover for the back seat of my car, you guys. This thing is so nice for the price. Like I think I only paid like $25 for it. Let me show you guys how it kind of works. There is this piece here with a connector that you can, you know, put on the back of the headrest to hold it in place. The seat part, there's this silicone kind of textured material here. 
That's gonna keep it from sliding around on the leather. That's what's gonna keep it in place. This is gonna protect your nice leather seats from anything that your child is trying to do. And it's also going to just maintain the integrity of the leather and keep it from sinking in and just keep the car seat from destroying your car, basically. At the bottom here, it has like these nice little pockets that I can put things in, easy reach items, you know, little toys or whatever. So it's just a really smart product and it's very practical and it makes so much sense. And I really appreciate you guys for recommending this because no one told me about this, okay? If you guys can hear me over Sansa's panting, I just wanted to pop in and say um, this has been working out pretty good. The only thing I would say that I wish it had that it doesn't is some of that kind of silicone material on the top just to kind of keep the car seat itself from sliding around because I feel like the leather had that friction, so I never had this problem when I had this seat sitting directly on the leather. So this thing could have used a little bit more friction on the top, but I think it's worth it to be able to protect the leather underneath because this thing is not forever, right? It's just a temporary seat until she gets bigger. So yeah, <laughs> back to the favorites. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna move into my wine of the month. <laughs> wine per se to share this time. I just wanted to give you guys some details on a product that I had talked about in my last vlog when we got back from Seattle. I was in the Seattle airport and I bought two of these Camp Craft cocktails in the airport, okay? But I love them so much, you guys, that I had to investigate how could I get more and they do have a website, which I will put a link to below. But you guys, these Camp Crab cocktails, right? They come with these little miniature mason jars with the dried fruits and herbs and things already in there. And whatever the theme is, it'll be printed on the top here. So for me, I got sangria and then I got another one with some hibiscus ginger for my husband for his bourbon. And I do have some wine in here right now, just a touch. But what you do is you pour the wine in here with the dried fruit and the dried Right, you know, herbs, and you let it infuse in your refrigerator overnight um, for three nights actually. And then you have like this amazing product on the end. And so a lot of you guys were curious as to how everything turned out. And let me just tell you, honey, delicious. Okay, probably the best sangria I've ever had. Like, like yo, like it was so good. And I was able to get three um, infusions out of the same jar. I don't even know. And like all of the dried fruit is now like all plumped up and it came to life. And I was eating that stuff because it was just so delicious. So I would highly recommend these. And I think the idea of these are just so good for like gifts, great for stocking stuffers, of course, for adults. I also think you could get creative enough to like make up some of these concoctions yourself. And you can give these to people for like all sorts of occasions. So I'm definitely gonna be ordering more from Camp Craft Cocktails because um, this was just really, really delicious, you guys. And I'm waiting for this batch here to finish infusing because I'll be drinking this tonight, okay? <laughs> so I highly recommend you guys check out Camp Craft Cocktails if you're into, you know, spirits and libations. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was helpful or at the very least entertaining. You guys know these are like my favorite types of videos to film, so I appreciate you guys watching. And I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next one. Mwah! Bye!